Gunship, gunship, gunship. The gunship is on display here at the Lego store. Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're at the West Edmonton Mall Lego store to do some Lego shopping. Woohoo! Pretty awesome. As you can see, there's no customers in the store right now because we actually have exclusive access to show all of you guys the new amazing products here for summer 2021. August 1st is the day and there's a huge amount of new products that are just hitting the shelves right now as we speak. It's pretty amazing. So today we're going to be taking a look at all the new products, all the promos, and also, of course, probably going to be getting a huge amount of stuff and it's going to be a pretty big haul. I could not be more excited. So, of course, we saw the gunship earlier in the front window. There's also some more stuff. We've got the Adidas original superstar here on its box, no longer rotating. And then we have the T2 camper van as well. It looks pretty sweet. I like those little chairs and also the surfboard. It actually looks a little bit better than T1, I think. Pretty snazzy. Also, we've got the typewriter here. And just on the other side, of course, we've got the Disney castle in the center, the center star of the show. And then four stories of action. It's the Daily Bugle. Whoa, pretty sweet. Love that set. Actually, I think it's one of the best of 2021, of course. And then we've got Seinfeld here. Nice little set if you are a fan of Seinfeld, of course. Pretty cool display there. Pretty snazzy. On the back of the gunship here, it says, chosen by you it is. I love that little Yoda reference. That's pretty sweet. It says, the new LEGO Star Wars Republic gunship is the first voted for by fans Ultimate Collector Series set. The first, does that mean there's gonna be more? Potentially. So actually there's some promos at the LEGO store right now. Here in Canada, if you spend $265, you're gonna get one of these sailboat adventures for free. I believe if you spend $200 in the United States, you'll get that for free as well. Also, if you spend $55 or more on any Marvel product, you're gonna get this free Shang-Chi product right here. Comes with a really neat looking dragon. Also, if you spend $80 here in Canada on Lego Classics, you're gonna get this for free, which is the Master's Book of Secrets, done by uh, DK. DK is actually a, the main publisher of Lego uh, books. This has Lego tips and tricks to elevate your building skills. Actually looks like a really high quality book. Might be worth the uh, Lego Classics purchase if that's the only way you can get it, to be honest. Pretty sweet promo. Well, you know me, guys. Of course, we're going to start in the most exciting area, which, of course, is the LEGO Creator Expert slash 18 plus area. The sets here are all amazing. You know, this guy's been around for a while, but we do have something new here. It's the Bird of Paradise. Mainly in this video, we're going to be focusing on all of the new stuff just because there's so much of it. There should be the T2 camper van new in this area as well but hey we see a sale right here that one's on sale for 89.99 you can save ten dollars on that item last time i was here actually the story of nyan was on sale and so was the spring lantern festival i do not see the spring lantern festival in stock here today but i do see the new guy and it's right over here it's the t2 camper van retails for 249.99 here in canada 2,207 pieces. Also, just above that, we have the Seinfeld set. Hey, you know what? I haven't seen this in a while. The Reef set, the Christmas Reef. That's pretty neat. Pretty good stuff here. We've got uh, also the bonsai tree, all the art sets here as well. The world map up top there beside the piano. And of course, the Daily Bugle. Pretty awesome set in the giant queue here right now. We've got Hogwarts pretty sweet we've got the three in one sets here there's a bunch of new ones that actually are coming out today i think there's three in particular there's the medieval castle which is a three in one set i'm really eyeing that one up there you guys know i've been talking about doing a three in one castle set up like a remock of it where you get three of them and you build a super big one and i sort of want to do that here today i don't know what we're going to get but we'll figure it out uh, also we got the ferris wheel here with a thousand and two pieces the fish tank I was talking about using the fish, just like the fish elements from this, and putting them onto our aquarium. That's actually a pretty cool little painting there as well. You get like the easel, and then there's like this little treasure chest here as well. So I think those are the new sets for uh, three-in-one. 
And then we make our way into Technic where we've got a couple new guys as well. We've got the heavy duty tow truck and also the Mercedes-Benz Zetros trial truck. This thing is pretty cool. It can go up such a big slant and it can be powered by the control lab. Whereas this one here, I think just has some moving gears and stuff like that. It can't actually drive around like the Mercedes truck. That's everything that's new in the Technic area, I believe. But right beside the Technic area, we have our favorite area, which of course is Star Wars. Hey, look, we've got some sales down here. These are on sale for $125.99. That's Yoda and also the Resistance Transport. As you saw in the beginning of the video here, of course, there's the new gunship on display here. Yes. Oh, and look up right above that. Uh, limited one per household. This is the Darth Vader Meditation Chamber. I think we're gonna have to get one of those for sure. That looks sweet. I love the sticker element in the inside. Just like the force choke going on. Very cool that Lego decided to include that. Also, we got Boba Fett Starship beside the Imperial Light Cruiser. Already got one of those from Mastermind Toys early. A lot of the stuff I saw at Mastermind Toys as well. However, we like to get our VIP points and also that sailboat promo that we saw earlier in this video as well. The Bad Batch attack shuttle here. I love these minifigures. Haven't seen the Bad Batch yet though, folks. Yeah, no, I'm still fighting my way through Clone Wars, if you can believe it or not. Oh my gosh, we almost passed by the duel on Mandalore here in the Star Wars department, where you get Ahsoka Tana and also Darth Maul. Woof. Right here, we've got a new set as well. This is the Mandalorian Starfighter. And that's beside some new Ninjago stuff. All sorts of new crazy stuff in here as well. This one's on sale. This is the Emperor Temple of Madness. Also, we have the Water Dragon here, which is new. Temple of the Endless Sea. This could go underwater. Hey, that's pretty cool. Some other Ninjago stuff down here as well. Catamaran Sea Battle. That's not part of the new launch, but still looks pretty snazzy here on the shelves. Just around the corner here, we've got the Lego City stuff. There is some new Lego City stuff for sure. And I was eyeing up a couple of them because we're working on a zoo. And actually some of the new LEGO City stuff comes with some awesome molded animals. Like these elephants right here. Look at this, I love this giant elephant. And also the baby elephant. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. I love that. You get this nice looking helicopter there too. And just beside that we have the wildlife rescue camp where also you get a giant elephant. And look at the lion. And the little baby lion. Oh. Very cool. Oh, there's a monkey up here too. Sweet. Some good looking stuff there. Also the wildlife rescue off-roader where you get some more molded animals and a really cool looking snake. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna have to talk to the wife and say, which animals do we need? She's in charge of ordering all of the animals for the zoo. So we've got to decide which ones we need. We got some new video stuff here. You know what, video hasn't really been my thing. I love the look of the minifigures though. They look simply incredible. Also, those printed two by two tile pieces are just unreal. This one I've been eyeing up. It looks pretty sweet. It's the boom box. They've got it built on display there. It actually looks pretty amazing. Love the color contrast on the video stuff as well. It really does pop and looks pretty awesome. So the boom box uh, has 996 pieces and retails for $140. We should have some new stuff in the Mario department here, but let's have a look at the sale right down here first. It's on for $80.99, so there's a little bit of discount on the Toad's Treasure Hunt. Some other stuff on sale here as well. Ah, there's the new stuff right up here. Bowser's Airship. Haven't got a whole lot of Mario stuff. I just got the starter course and of course the NES. But I was eyeing up that Bowser's Airship. It looks pretty sweet. A few other new ones, including the Adventures with Luigi. There you go, reminds me of the uh, starter course where you got the Mario, same sort of packaging, right? Something else on sale here with another elephant in the friends department. And I thought there was some new friend stuff. Yeah, here it is, highlighted in green, of course. The magical caravan, the forest horseback riding center. Ooh, I like those horses. They look good. Also, there was like a hotel or something, wasn't there? Yeah, the Heart Lake City Grand Hotel. 
I was told to say, and all of you guys during our videos, that you could buy a couple of those and modularize it and put it in the city and it would look absolutely fantastic in a city setting. I love all the color contrasts, all the different colors, all the different pieces, like the golds and all that. And you can buy a couple of them and make something that looks pretty sweet. What do we got on display here? Oh, we better check him out. Look at him, he's popping through the gate. Ah, ah. <laughs> and then we got our mini pigs, of course, as well. <laughs> that's, that's been out for a while, but it's still pretty cool to see. Same with this one here. This was actually one of my favorite sets for quite some time, the 1989 Batmobile. This thing is just a masterpiece when you build it. Very, very, very neat. Also comes with the three mini figures. It's good to pair up, of course, with the Batwing, which we'll see right over there, along with some other new superhero sets. We got our cube right here with Diagon Alley. And just below that, we've got some other Harry Potter stuff. I was told, well, like everyone knows, they, we missed out on Ron, right? They didn't make Ron. I was told that maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just a rumor, but there might be a Dumbledore Harry Potter, sorry, Dumbledore Ron Weasley two-pack. Wouldn't that be neat? That'd be really neat. I'd, I'd love to see a, a Dumbledore figure like that. In fact, I'd love to see more figures like that in general. Hopefully we get, you know, Batman, Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, Spider-Man, really like, the possibilities are truly endless. We've got the what if set up here. Oh, look, Brothor's new Asgard. That is a cool set. Love it. Also up here, we've got the Infinity Gauntlet beside the Guardian ship, 1,901 pieces. And that one retails for 189.99. That's not a bad price per piece on that. And then we've got uh, Rocket, Star-Lord, Groot, Mantis, Thor, and also a Shatari warrior in there as well. Got some other new stuff in the Marvel department, including the Avengers Endgame Final Battle. I love all the minifigs that you get in here, especially the big fig of Thanos. That Black Panther looks pretty sweet. Same with the Thor, uh, let's face the fact, they all look pretty sweet, don't they? Got some cool minifigures in the Black Panther Dragon Flyer as well. Beside a Minecraft, it seems like there is new sets in every single department. It is absolutely awesome. This is some of the newer stuff right here. You get the modern treehouse. And then down here, we also have the Hogwarts first flying lesson. Hey, we just watched uh, the first Harry Potter movie the other day with that scene. <laughs> That's when they found Harry Potter, who's the new seeker, right? The Philosopher's Stone. Very cool. We got our Harry Potter stuff. A lot of this stuff come out, I think, last month, right? I still need to pick up a Hogs Hogsmeade Village. That'd be pretty cool. To integrate into our winter sort of Christmas uh, village, you know, you got all the Elf Clubhouse, the Gingerbread House, all that stuff there. We've got some Monkey Kid stuff here. Some of it's actually on sale as well. I'm sure these sales are applied across all different Lego stores. Of course, we're in the Lego store in West Edmonton Mall, which is absolutely glorious. We've got our pab wall. <laughs> you know what, there's so many great sets available right now. I should really try and just stay away from the pab wall, but look, there's baguettes. What? And green telescopes, and gold cylinders, and black bricks, one by two, cheese wedges in blue. Oh man, flame elements up here. Hey, you got some stems. All sorts of wicked elements in here. Like always, though. Oh, blue flowers. Is it blue that we need? I'll have to ask Jose. Mm. Can't quite remember. Here in the Disney department, it looks like we've got a couple different castles, of course. We've got the Frozen Ice Castle and also the Disney Castle. It's always a treat to see that in stock. I love this thing right here. Beautiful. That's beside Rapunzel's Tower and also something on sale, which is Elsa's Magical Ice Palace. We've got the new Disney stuff right here. I love this little plane. Also, uh, Mickey Mouse's and also Donald Duck's farm. These little tile pieces are really cool. Jose was saying that she could use those as hidden Mickeys throughout the amusement park. And I think that was a great, great idea. Also, we have, look at that, astronaut Mickey and Minnie. I love the minifigures in that set, or both, all of these sets, because all of these are unique. You know, they've never really been done before. You get all the Disney friends and interesting outfits. Oh, look. There's one built, you got Pluto there. Very cool. Just below, we've got some other new Disney stuff, such as Bells and Rapunzel's Royal Stables. Some cool looking horses there. Also, this set, which is Belle and the Beast Castle. I love those two mini dolls. 
You know, I'm not a huge collector of mini dolls, but that Beast one is actually pretty sweet. Some stuff on sale on the bottom there. Also a lot of Dots products on sale here as well. Oh, I remember there's a new Dots product coming out that looked really cool. Is this it? The creative designer box? No, I don't think that's it. It's lots of Dots. Oh, it's this one here, lots of Dots. You get over a thousand pieces, a thousand and forty pieces, and it retails for $25. This is gonna be so good for our fence that goes around the train, uh, the train track. It's gonna be amazing for adding all the custom details. Here's our classic and Duplo section. If you spend $60 on classic, you get that free promo with that book done by DK, which looks pretty sweet. And then of course, we've got some Duplo stuff here as well. And that's right by the front window. We've made an entire loop going around the entire Lego store. Hey, this pod where the promos are also has some of the new Halloween stuff as well. Got the Halloween owl and also the little Halloween ornaments. Look at that. Reminds me of the classic Monster Fighters Haunted House and also look at the spider. Pretty sweet. Also here we've got some of the new brick heads. Pets line up. Also this one's new as well. Some brick sketches on this side. Everyone is awesome. And then some more brick heads on this side as well. Most of which are actually displayed up here. I like this little Harry Potter display. Also this Disney one. And then once again, you've got your promos here. Sailboat, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so that's all the new products that are coming out today. <laughs> now the big question is, is what are we gonna get? Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff on my wanted list and those promos are pretty sweet. <sighs> also, they let me into the store here early to check it all out. So I feel like we gotta get some pretty big haul here, get something going pretty special. So. Let's start on that end over there. I'm going to skip the Birds of Paradise. Although, I will say I love the flower bouquet and the bonsai tree. I actually have those on my kitchen table. Well, I have the flower bouquet on my kitchen table. I didn't get Seinfeld when it came out because, I'm not going to lie to you guys, never really watched the show. Hmm, what are we going to get? Well, of course, we're going to get one of these. It's the Volkswagen camper van. Gotta get it, gotta match it up with the T1 camper van and the Lego Creator Expert vehicles. All right, you probably already know the answer to this. I've gotta get the Medieval Castle. I wanna try and get three of them. I don't know, if they have enough stock, I'll probably get three of those because we need an opposing castle for our scenes underneath the Lego City. So eventually I'm gonna get three of those, no question asked. Also, I wanna get this Ferris wheel. We're thinking about putting the Ferris wheel not in the amusement park, but hear me out. We're thinking about putting it by the beach. I think that would make great sense. And also, we're gonna get the fish tank for the aquarium. That is pretty neat. You know what? I didn't point out the new crocodile, but it is pretty cool as well, but I'm gonna leave that on the shelves today. Here in the tactics department, nothing really tickling my fancy right now. I'm more of a collector of the supercars, such as the CN, the Ferrari, the Bugatti, which I don't see on the shelf right now. Is that retired? Possibly. I also have the Defender, but I think I'm gonna leave the Mercedes and also leave the heavy duty tow truck here. Hey, real quickly, I didn't see that the Sith Trooper Battle Pack is on sale here, but you guys know I'm a huge fan of Darth Vader, right? You guys know that. Darth Vader. Also, we've got to get that. That's the Meditation Chamber. Also, like, Boba Fett Starship, looking pretty sweet. It's going to be cool to compare that with the others. Bad Batch, I'm going to watch that eventually. We need these minifigures. Those are super cool, and that's going to be a lot of fun to build. It's a great set. Obviously, we're getting the gunship. No question asked, grabbing that off the shelves today. And same with the Mandalorian Starfighter. Hey, you know what I don't see? I don't see the Ninjago sub. I don't see it there. Isn't that weird? Even if it was there, I wouldn't be getting it. I've got to get one of these LEGO City sets because we need the animals for our zoo. And it's actually going to be this one right here. I love that giant elephant. Although I do need the baby elephant. I would get this one, but it's got this big chopper and I definitely don't need a chopper. I feel like I can integrate a lot of this stuff into our zoo. Oh, also look at that bird up there. It comes with so many great animals. So we're gonna get one of those. And I've actually learned a trick. You can actually order these animals, some of them, from BAP or Bricks and Pieces, which is actually on lego.com. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I think I'm gonna try out my first video set and we're gonna get the boom box. Although this set is pretty cool, I am gonna leave it here today. Oh, it looks pretty sweet. Glad they have it built, though. 
Not much new Harry Potter stuff, but I did notice that the Burrow is on for a heavy discount. Look at that. Regular 140 on for $97. That is a good price. Does that mean that the Burrow is going to be disappearing and retiring soon? I don't know. Potentially, potentially. You never know. Obviously, we're going to make our way over to the Marvel section over here. We've got to get some really cool stuff. We've got to get Bro Thor's new Asgard. Look at it. It's so cool. Look at Korg. Look at Meek. And then Bro Thor, Fat Thor, awesome. Got to get the gauntlet, going to go great with the helmets, and got to get the guardian ship. Don't have it, and we need it. I'm going to leave this one here for now. Didn't get any of the other battle scenes, but this one looks pretty sweet. I love the minifigures in it, but it's just not really doing it for me 110%, although Ant-Man's van is pretty amazing. Minecraft never played it. I know, don't judge me. Hard to believe, isn't it? Okay, just a twisted my rubber arm. She says, we need these tile pieces for the amusement park, and that's the only way you can get them. And she needs all of these minifigures, like they're going to space. We gotta get all these little mini uh, Disney sets as well, because they're pretty fantastic. Also, we're gonna get two of these uh, lots of dots, so that we can start customizing that fence going around our train track. So, uh, yeah, we're doing a little bit of damage here today, as you can tell. Who wants to see the damage thus far? Oh, there it is. We got the gunship. Beauty. Can't wait to build that thing. It's going to be so sweet. 3,292 pieces. This thing looks absolutely glorious. Ultimate collector series, of course. Amazing. And we got a little bit of stuff right here on this card as well. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to get the Adidas Superstar. I decided to add that, you know, last minute there. I was like, you know what? It looks pretty sweet. It's an iconic uh, Lego set already, I think. Also, we got the three-in-one Ferris wheel there, all the three-in-one stuff, all the Marvel stuff, uh, that city set, the video boom box, all the Star Wars stuff. Whew, yeah, got a little bit uh, carried away there, I think, but I'm excited because everything here is stuff to build and integrate into the collection. Isn't that sweet? I think that's, that's pretty amazing. All of this stuff is gonna find a home in the Lego room. Ah, uh, Shazay's over there with our cart full of stuff. I had to vacate the scene. <laughs> I know, it's exciting though because all of that stuff is going to be integrated into the Lego room, right? So it's, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. We're uh, loading up here. Loading up. All right, so there's the madness right there. Woo, so they only had uh, one of the castles for now, but we'll, uh, we'll get another one. That's the three-in-one castle. So we're going to get two more of those eventually, but there's our biggest Lego haul ever at the Lego store in West Edmonton Mall. Pretty awesome. All right, we got her all loaded up in the car here. It's time to get home and bring it into the Lego room and start building the UCS Republic gunship right over there. Pretty sweet. Let me know what you think by commenting below. This is our biggest Lego haul ever. It's madness. I know it's crazy, but we need all this stuff. It's going to look amazing. Thank you guys so much for popping by today. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on the channel. Thanks a lot. Peace out. Woohoo!